The first question Assalamu alaikum Abdullah Muhammad from Lahore, Pakistan. Islamic Naya Sal Mubarak Baad Dena Sahi hai. Is it permissible in Islam to wish Islamic Happy New Year? A similar question was posed to Sheikh Muhammad Saleh ibn Uthaymin that can a person wish a happy Islamic Hijri year or can we respond to someone if he wishes Islamic Happy New Year? Sheikh Muhammad Saleh ibn Uthaymin, he replied that if someone wishes you a happy Islamic New Year, you can respond back. But you should not initiate this greeting. If someone wishes you Happy Islamic New Year, you can wish them back by saying, May Allah bless you and give you good in this New Year. There's no problem. But you should not initiate this greeting because according to him, we find that the Salaf Salihin, the Sahabas, the Tabain, the Tabi Tabain, we never find in any of the hadith or any historical record that the Salaf Salihin, they ever wished anyone a happy Islamic New Year. So this is not the Sunnah of the Prophet. It is not amongst the Islamic greetings. But if someone wishes you, it is your duty to respond because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 86, Allah says, وَإِذَا هُيِّتُمْ بِتَحِيَةٍ فَحَيُّ بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَانَ عَلِقُلِّ شَيْنْ حَسِيبًا Which means that if anyone greets you courteously, you have to wish back more courteously or at least the same. For Allah is careful in keeping all the accounts. That means it is farad if someone wishes you Assalamu alaikum. You have to wish back more courteously. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Or at least the same. It is compulsory. So that's the reason, based on this verse of the Quran, if someone wishes you a happy Islamic New Year in the beginning of Muharram, the beginning of the Hijri year, Hijri calendar, you have to respond back better, or at least the same. Wish him back happy Islamic New Year, or wish him back may Allah bless you or bring you good in this year. But to initiate or say to yourself, it is not amongst the Sunnah. And if someone wishes you initiates, it is not amongst the Sunnah, neither is it forbidden. So this is the ruling as far as wishing Islamic Happy New Year is concerned. Could you tell us um, which are the most important of all the voluntary fasts? The most important of all the voluntary fast is fasting in the month of Muharram, especially the Ashura, that is the 10th day of Muharram. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Hadith of Sayyid Muslim, volume number 2, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 2612, where a person asked the Prophet that which is the most important of the prayers after the prescribed prayers, after the Farid prayers. And which is the most important fast after the Farid fast, after the fast in the month of Ramadan? Prophet replied, the most important prayer after the Farid prayers is the prayer at night. And the most important fast after the fast in Ramadan is fasting in Muharram. So fasting in the month of Muharram is the most important. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad further said, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Tirmidhi, in the book of fasting, hadith number 752, the beloved prophet said that whoever fasts on the day of Ashura, it is expiation of his sins for the previous years. And all the sins that he did in the previous year, it will be expiated. Another hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 3, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2004, it says that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be with him, he says that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he reached Medina, he asked the Jews who used to fast on the 10th day of Muharram that why do you fast on the 10th day of Muharram? So they replied that the Bani Israel 
got the freedom from the enemies and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them freedom on this day. And Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he fasted on this day. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi replied that we have more right over Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, than you do. And he commanded the Muslims that they should fast on the 10th of Muharram, that is the Ashura. There's another hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2439, where Ibn Abbas says, may Allah be pleased with him, that when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the Muslims should fast on the 10th of Muharram, on the day of Ashura, some of the Sahaba, some of the companions of the Prophet came and told him that this is the day which is celebrated by the Jews. It's an important day for them. The Prophet said, next year, inshallah, we'll also fast on the 9th. But unfortunately, the Prophet did not live to see the next year. He expired before that. It's mentioned Sunnah Nasai, Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2416, that the Prophet did not miss four things. Number one is fasting on the day of Ashura. Number two, fasting the first 10 days of Dil Hajj. Number three, fasting three days every month, the Ayyamul Beed, and praying the Sunnah Salah before the Fajr Salah. So based on this, we come to know that it's very good to fast on Ashura. That is the 10th day of Muharram. But to be different than the Jews, it's preferable that you fast on the 9th also. So the best is to fast on the 9th and the 10th. But even if someone fasts on the 10th only, scholars say it's fine. Some scholars say that you can also fast on the 10th and the 11th to be different than the Jews. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Zakir. Enriching the Islamic ethos in your life. Introducing Peace Mobile, the solution for humanity. The quality par excellence Islamic smartphone. 4.63 inch LED screen. Slimmer body. Premium finish. Stylish design. Dual SIM, 32 GB SD card plus 4 GB internal memory. Dual core processor, 5 megapixel autofocus camera. Live Peace TV, English, Urdu and Bangla. Over 80 hours of Dr. Zakir Naik's videos. Over 50 authentic Islamic applications. Over 100 Islamic wallpapers. Over 200 Islamic ringtones, Islamic nasheeds, books on Islam and comparative religion of Dr. Zakir Naik. Living life easy and convenient. Communicating with technology par excellence. Fostering your innate relationship with your creator. Enriching your life on the move moments Islamically secured. Experience the difference. Peace Mabai, the solution for humanity. For inquiries on wholesale and retail purchases, log on to www.peaceammunition.com.